I've got a bit of a confession to make, you know. Secretly, I'm kind of glad it's coming to the end of boot sale season. Because I do like a lie-in of a weekend and the beginner becoming more frequent. It's Wednesday morning and of course we're in Yorkshire. I know, I know. If you love Yorkshire so much, why don't you just marry it already? No waffle today, gonna get straight in the field. So let's go and see what we can find. Fifty, everything in here. Okay, look. Yeah. 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 I haven't got the gun anymore. No, sometimes the, the drums go uh, for decent money. Well, it's absolutely no use to us. Does that hold, what, 20 bullets? Oh, at least I would have thought, yeah. So how have you been? What have you been up to? Oh, just been absolutely manic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just nice one to have, obviously. Yeah, I'll do that for a pound. Um, Why? How much was it? Probably about 10, I think. Uh, 10 plus postage of probably both. <gasps> You only give me £1.50. all you asked for. <laughs> oh, that's cheeky. I should have Googled it, should I? <laughs> Please tell me. No, give me uh, change. I, I haven't got any. I really haven't prepared today. Have you not got any change? I've got no change yet. Oh, bugger. Do you want me to keep it back? Yeah, please. Yeah, I'll definitely have it. Yeah, I've, I'm, I've just been terrible today. No, well, yeah, it's been I... one of those weeks where, you know, you set out to do stuff and just everything goes wrong and you just don't really achieve anything. It's been one of those weeks. But I'm kind of thinking, ah, sod it. Just right the week, I'll start again on Monday. Well, I'll, I'll bring you some change anyway. And see you later, lovely. Mate, that helmet, yeah, about four years, three years, yeah. and I've never had it on. <laughs> what size is it? Large. Well, I've still got another, but it's a 93, mine. I refuse to replace it. Yeah. Off to one no, fair enough. Yeah, how much you got on this one? Pardon? How much is this one? 50 quid. Oh, it's cloth cover and everything, mate. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's absolutely. It's, it's, come back and have a look at it in daylight. Yeah. Yeah. How much are your boots? Uh, four pounds. Four pounds, nice. So they're quite old, but you're good next to them. Yeah. 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 Four. four, yeah. Brilliant. Cheers, thank, thank you very much. much. Yeah. Got an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yorkshire yeah. humour, yeah. love it. <laughs> I don't know, can't sell it, two quid. <laughs> yeah, can't sell it. How much is your basket? 15 quid's best. F and M. Yeah, no. Did uh, you see I... the video where I picked one up for now? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, uh, no, mate, yeah. it was awesome. Yeah. Um, this, I picked up a load of Lego Duplo at Banks near Southport. Right. And uh, yeah, I could get a guy about 20 quid, but there was a lot of it. There was a box and a basket like that, yeah. almost identical. Full. Right. So I thought there's about four or five bundles of that, yeah. 20 quid a time. So I thought, nice. We went, oh, you might as well keep the basket that was in it. So I went, oh, nice. Well, I'll probably get about 10 or four, right? Yeah. Close the lid, bigger for them. Yeah. Yeah, didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. We went to America for 45, that, I think, yeah. something like that. Yeah, that's it, yeah. How much have you got in the combi? Um, I want to go for about a ten or something like that. Yeah. yeah. You're the remote for it? Yep. Not blinding. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a ten if I don't make sound cheap. It's just got, that's why there's scarred to HDMI. Oh, right, they're handy then, aren't they? Don't worry. Cheers, man. Cheers, Paul, thank Cheers, you. Cheers, mate. Oh, okay. How much is it? 
Um, one, the one that's marked, that one for £4, yeah. that one's six. Pardon? That bag? Oh, we put your interest in the bag? I was just looking at it, yeah. Oh, okay, mate. How much are they? Four pound. I've just took them out at box. You yeah. can see the brand new. Do you, do you still have the box? Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I'll take those, please. Thank you. Thank you. Some better days, isn't it? Pardon? Some better days, the as box. As long as it's real, I'm not bothered. <laughs> That's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a good day, darling. Under ten pound for that. Bargain. Under ten pound for that. I'm not pinching coat anger in you, Simon. Thank you, John. Cheers, Paul. Thank you. Yeah, cheers, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we've got your label, as Paul. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's me done at Fitzwilliam. If it wasn't for the fact I was meeting somebody today, I probably would have given it a miss. Now, this is born from experience rather than psyching myself out because it absolutely hammered it down uh, in this part of the country yesterday. There was actually a weather warning. It would have put a lot of people off loading up for boot sales that would uh, normally come that I would normally like to buy from the private sellers. It takes a lot more to scare off the traders, but they're slimmer pickings and it's been really drizzly all morning. So if I wasn't meeting up with somebody, I probably would have spent the day doing something else. <laughs> probably listing, get through this mountain of stuff that I've got to get listed. Still a few pickups and a couple of not too bad ones actually. So at the very least, I've paid for my diesel and probably made a bit of money. Needless to say, off the back of it, today's video is going to be very short. <laughs> but we've got the weekend to look forward to, and of course we'll be out on the fields again, making the most of the end of boot sale season. So I urge you guys to do the same as well. So I'm going to get off home and obviously take you through what I did pick up today, and tell you how much I'm going to list it for. I shall see you in a bit. Hey, when I were a lad, I remember when we used to get up at first fart at Sparrow, and then out over at Moors, dressed in no more than a string vest and an old potato sack fashioned into a pair of shorts. We used to slog self half to death with no more tea and a quarter pork pie and a pickled egg. Eee, them were days I tell you. They made men men and they made some of the women men as well. We used to get to boot sales as soon as they opened and trawl round the field looking for bargains. Sometimes we'd be there for hours, haggling, charming folk, bartering. Sometimes we'd win, sometimes we'd fail, but we'd always try. You youngsters these days don't know you're born. I say you don't know you're born, do you, Dave? Yeah, thanks for that, Grandad. <laughs> Now I'm wondering if it was like this in Grandad's day at all. It, it was quite a trek out as it usually is on a Wednesday for me, an hour and a half each way. Now most of the time it's a win. However, on this occasion, and the reason for that little outtake, just to pat the video out a little bit, is because on this occasion it wasn't. It wasn't terrible, but I probably about covered my diesel, plus a little bit extra. So same script as usual guys, I'm gonna strap the GoPro to my head and take you through what I got and how much it's getting listed for. Let's rock and roll. So as you can see, I've had more spectacular hauls, that's for sure. Total spent today £49.50 and for that I got seven items. So straight into it, clearly this isn't going to take long. First up, this Nerf drum, 35 dark capacity, nice bread and butter sale there, nice and easy to pack. Listing value on that, £13. These Skywalk boots, importantly, the Gore-Tex walking boots, really, really popular and they fetch good value. These, uh, they look a bit tired, but I'm not too concerned about that. It's suede fabric, so this a lot of that is going to clean off with brushing listing value on those 30 pound very nearly didn't pick these up 
Uh, I th initially, I thought they were docks, but they're clearly not really. They've got a dock-like sole, but they're a Goliath work shoe for a very small foot. This is probably a woman's size. It's still toe cap, size four. Brand spanking new in a rather tatty box. They've got the laces with them, which I'm probably going to have to do up for the photos because there's, gonna be, there's been some creasing to the wings, I suppose, for want of a better word, on the shoes. Because of the size, devalued them really. Listing value on those, £20. Good brand to be watching out for, Salomon. I went into Yorkshire again, didn't I? <laughs> A <laughs> good brand to be work, watching out for is Salomon. These are in cracking condition. UK size six and a half. They look to have had very little wear. Very impressed with that pickup. Listing value on those Salomon, £35. A very nice pair of super dry Chelsea boots in a suede, a tan suede. Need very little in the way of tarting up a bit. There's a bit of a scuff. A very light brush in or sort all this out. Maybe a baby wipe around the heel. UK size nine. Listing value on those £30. Probably a pickup of the day, which is, it's not spectacular, but it's not too bad at all. This Toshiba DVD video combi is the SD24VBSB. Comes with its remote as well, which is a bonus. Remote's looking a bit tired. Looks like it's cigarette stain, but it doesn't smell like it. I'll give it a clean up anyway. Minimal wear to everything else. Obviously you need to test it first. Listing value on that, £60. Last but by no means least, this needs just a bit of a lint roller jobby on it. Great condition, Richmond Forest wax coat with a detachable hood. I've sold a few of these wax coats recently. Um, a lot of people who do the horse riding thing uh, uh, buy them. Sold really well and really quite quickly as well. This is a, a very good quality feel as well. Some of them are quite thin and flimsy, but this is a very, very good quality feel jacket. Size XXL and the listing value on that. £30. Now, as you can see, not too much in the way of pickups today, but sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. You've got to take the off with the smooth. There's been days at that boot sale uh, during the summer where I've come back with gross listing values in excess, whaley in excess of £500, and it's been well worth my trip over. And that's, like I say, that's the way it goes. But you still got to be getting out of bed and getting at it because if you don't go, you'll never know. That sounds like a catchphrase. <laughs> Somebody make a t-shirt up. Now, of course, if you've seen anything in the field I missed, hit me up in the comments section below. Uh, this is one thing that I take out of these videos. It's really handy. If uh, you guys are telling me about stuff I, I missed, then I'm learning as well. And I'm a bit of a sponge for knowledge like that as well. And obviously it helps me and my business as well. So it is very much appreciated. So turtles time. Turtle spent today was £49.50. And the total number of items I picked up for that was seven. All the prices that I mentioned of these items are going to be plus postage as well. And the total gross listing value, still nothing to be sniffed at, but it's definitely not one of my better days, is £218. Now, of course, I say it, I say it every time, but obviously that's a gross figure. eBay fees have to come off that and obviously money for the tax and so on. Now, this coming week, I'm going to be concentrating on a stock take as well because we are on the verge of Q4, people. So I want to make sure that my stock room is absolutely optimised. I want to clear out any dead stock and obviously sometimes listings do drop off eBay for some bizarre unknown reason and you end up with it stuck on your shelves and don't even know it's there. So I'm going to be taking care of that this week. But if you've got any kind of value out of this video or any entertainment, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and helps me endeavour to help other people. I'm sure you already are, but if you're not, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell will give you a notification of next time I post a video up. Thanks very much indeed for supporting the channel, guys. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.